when we had last left the Spacefarer. They had one more meeting with the leadership of both the Crimson Fleet and Sistef at the UC Vigilance, and it was there that the final preparations were made to seize Crix's legacy, the super cash of amazing money, and the solution to all of the Crimson Fleet's problems, as well as, indirectly, the solution to a lot of Sistef's problems. But they would first need to travel out to Brannock 4, the heavily EM blast infested planet, and recover it there. This is Starfield. Welcome back. Zoop, zoop, zoop. Let's do it. Let us. Let's just board our ship and we'll sleep. Sleep off our yellow bit of the health bar. Will we be taking off immediately, or are there other matters that require your attention? Okay, over here. Oh, this way. Oh, no. Let me guess. <laughs> you missed me and you couldn't stay away. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Sarah. Jeez. Alright. Over here. And let's sleep. I mean, I guess we probably only need, like, couple hours. And so our adventure continues. <laughs> and Treasure, don't let Sarah know that we just did that. <laughs> okay, let's go this way and then head on up. Good, good, good. And I'm assuming we've perhaps never been to this. What, what happens if you go to Brannock 4? Can you find Brannock 4 on the star map and go there we without all this? Let's get out of here. What happens if you do that? Let's see. Make sure we show on map. So where is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's Bannock. God, this whole time I thought it was Brannock. Like a, a Brannock device. Except spelled with only a C. A Brannock device, by the way, is the... You've probably, there's a good chance you've seen these before. You just didn't know the name for it. But a Brannock device is the device that measures your foot size, right? It's like the only standardized way that people have of measuring the length and width of their shoe, right? To decide like what type of shoe should you buy? What size? You know, it's that weird little thing where you, you put your heel in and you slide the little doohickeys around. It's that thing. It's a Brannock device. All right. Let's go here. Good, good, good. I will quick save just in case something horrible happens. I don't think the quick save went through, so I'm just going to cross my fingers that nothing horrible happens. We shall see. Grab drive spinning down. Systems green. Now we learn. Oh yeah, look at all this. Not, oh god. This ship will not survive. Nor will we. Jeez, look at all this shit. Are we taking hits or anything? Are we getting fucked up? God, we're getting a little fucked up. Okay. Can I pop the map? Holy hell, man. Scan, yeah, it's been scanned. Okay. What else is in this system? Sensor contact. Hostile activity? But we are at the unknown signal, which would be where the legacy is. Okay, I guess we just need to go over to our marker. Right? Yeah, unknown signal. Good lord, we're getting blasted a lot, dude. Oh my gosh. Okay. And our booster is really slow to come back. What the fuck? I'm going to power up the engines a bit more. Interference is intense here, but the conduction grid seems to be working. Not that bad. Not that good. We're like half shield. It's not perfect. I thought this would be infallible. Oh gosh. You know what? I kind of like that it is not foul. That it is not infallible. That's fallible. 
It's full of fallacy. It's phallic. <laughs> Let's go into the the fucking ship. Good. What's gonna happen to our ship while Solid we're just out here? Nice work. Okay. Well. Dude, this is wild, huh? It's like I'm at the end of Mass Effect 2 or some shit. Alright, let's board. I wonder why they didn't have anyone else come out here and do this too. The damage done here certainly indicates we are not the first to find this ship. Well, that's interesting. Okay. Sure. Dude, what if... What if we were fucking right? What if it's like cryo storage or something? Well, now, why would a bank have that? You know, why would a fucking bank have it? Docking status. Docking port 01. Status occupied. Clearance entry permitted. Docked ship information. Docking port 01. Ship registry unknown. Captain unknown. Transponder code. Handshake unavailable. Ship status unknown. It's amazing that it even let us dock without this kind of registration. You know? You would think it would just refuse docking. How about this? Unoccupied slash ready. Clearance is sealed. Yep. All non-applicable because there's nothing there. Okay. Well, big old fucking dead-ass robot. Let's do a quick save. Should I munch and crunch a bit? Yeah, I should. Especially after our nap. Okay, let's go down here. I'll eat a carrot. And... How about... Some Tranquility Lotus. I like how Starfield kind of continues the Bethesda tradition of every protagonist having the most weird and fucked up diet. I mean, granted, this is the most grounded diet of any character in, in a Bethesda game, I think. Right? It's the closest to real. But uh, the fact that they need to eat something every 30 minutes and it could just be you could just eat a stick of butter and that's good. Right? A stick of butter is just as nutritionally fulfilling and satisfying as like a fucking tikka masala masala mas mar marsala <laughs> it's, it's like a grilled cheese we'll say that okay okay anything over here listen the the joke lands better if i describe a <laughs> a food that i can actually pronounce <laughs> under normal circumstances Well, so far, there's not as much money as I was hoping for. Yeah, advanced weapons. Storage box. Okay, so if we socket this one in, then what would we need? One of these? Yeah. All right, well, we can work with that. Good. Little bit of money and zero wire. Guess I'll take it. Emergency. Execute safety protocols immediately. This is not a drill. No food. And the other thing on the wall said no water, I believe. Okay. Oh my god, what if this is it? <laughs> what if they ate each other? What if- <laughs> what if they finally did it? God, they're fucked- Bethesda Game Studios' is fucked up quest to put cannibalism in every single IP they own. God, this is it. Starfield finally had. <laughs> this is where they put in cannibals! Oh my gosh, the crew of the- of Crix's Legacy ate each other. God, I can't wait. Is it really a Bethesda game if there's no one in it that's a cannibal? It's got to be, like, one of their most absurd tropes, right? <laughs> it's just how often they, they have people that are into cannibalism. 
you thought that this game was too grounded in reality to have cannibals in them, right? They're like, that's a little too far-fetched, you know? Like, sure, cannibalism is real, but come on. In space? Yeah, in space. Okay, well, nothing there. Everything here appears sound. The crew must have remained trapped oh. for some time. <laughs> what is this? Fate. God, they ate each other for real. God, they ate each other. Why did they need such a big crew for a ship that's just moving like data stores? You know? Under what circumstance would you not just have like one small, speedy, stealthy ship? Why would you need something this big? Unless it's carrying something other than fucking money, man. God, it is. All right. Check out the this, though. It says, Glor blur blur. Zero one zero. Crix's arrival. Crew recording initiated. Hello? Hello? Engineer's message said they set up some kind of a recording system. So Crix was here. Oh, the red light is on, so I guess it's working. It's been a few days since I docked with the Legacy. Yeah. Time being, I'm stuck here. Every God, is he still alive? Including the prototype shielding is completely burned out. It's unlikely it'll ever fly again. Whatever's protecting the legacy seems to be holding for now. Which is pretty amazing considering she's been here for almost 40 years. Long story short, I'd make it to the prize, but now I'm stranded and trying to figure a way off this Hulk. I gotta tell you, though, it's not looking good. Not at all. I found the remains of the Legacy's crew. Looks like they're starved to death. That's obvious they couldn't find their way out. They didn't eat each other? Come on! I need to do is start scouring the ship and look for something they might have missed. <sighs> Guess that's all for now. Um, signing off? Crew recording terminated. They didn't start eating each other? You gotta be kidding. Come on. They just starved. Nobody went to cannibalism. F come on. Maybe Crix did. Maybe Crix showed up and started eating their bods. God, I hope he did. God, I hope he's just a fucking weirdo and started eating people. Their old decaying bods. Running on empty. Crew recording initiated. All right. Oh, this is Captain so like saying, whoever, Liang. That's all we have left. If we stretch things out and cut our rations in half, I'd say we'll be out of food in a week. Maybe nine days. How do I do it, Kellner? How do I tell everyone we're all going to die? You don't have to. Everyone knows. They're all making peace with it. Bakara and Osterholt knew. They simply chose to handle it by giving up early and taking their own lives. Look at all that money down there. Millions of credits. <laughs> Completely worthless. With all of that, I could buy another ship. Fly us all out of here. I wonder if Galbank will even bother to send word to my family. <laughs> to any of our families. Captain, listen. <laughs> You're not a fault for what happened. Those ships came out of nowhere. The fact that we've lived this long is a gift. What? A Those miracle. ships came out of nowhere. Which means we should enjoy every second of the time that remains. Right, Crewman Kellner? My thoughts exactly. They're gonna Captain. fuck! Come closer. Oh my- Oh god! The captain and the crewman are gonna fuck us! They're starving to death? Crew recording terminated. God, they're gonna eat each other's asses out. Now that's cannibalism, baby. Hell yeah. God, there they are! There's their dead fucking corpses! Oh my... Oh, they didn't fuck. They just held hands. What the fuck? They're not even naked! Come on. Disappointment after disappointment. Nobody's eating each other. Nobody's fucking each other. Did they even really starve? <laughs> what the fuck? A Greater End, Volume 3. What the hell is that? Oh. 
by Keeper Achilles of the Sanctum Universum. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is new reading. God, it's it's significant too. What the hell? Okay. Jeez, I didn't think I would need to add to our list of reading, but uh, lo and behold, here we are. All right. Let me write this down here real quick. Okay. To read. Maybe we can find the other volumes and read them in order. I don't know. This may be it. A Greater End, Volume 3, and it's religious shit, my favorite. Okay. I don't know, maybe they, maybe the captain was like jerking them off though. Ship captain hat? That's a weird looking hat. Oh, here it is. God, that's also a weird looking hat. <laughs> oh, I don't like that. That's like a little miner's hat, you know? You're about to fucking hit us with the hi ho, hi ho, we're off to Crix's legacy, we go. Okay. Well, how about this? God, it's a master lock. There better be something good in here. I'm gonna auto slot, pop in the single. Good. Yeah, maybe, maybe they carried on another tradition with Jasper Crick showing up. Maybe he not only fulfills their leg, though <laughs> yeah, he fulfills Bethesda's legacy of eating people, of cannibalism, and also fucking corpses, <laughs> right? Also being a necrophile. <laughs> he, he just starts fucking dead bodies. <laughs> God, he's so wild. What a man. <laughs> what a man. Okay. Anything good on this mannequin? That's all bullshit. Oh, no! You'd think it would be like a special retro outfit, but I don't think it is, right? Yeah. Ground crew spacesuit. I think we've seen these before. Haven't we? Okay, well, let's check out this computer. The captains. Crew evaluations. Oh my god, there is so much. K. Osterholt, engineer. Crew evaluation. K. Osterholt, ship's engineer. GPF-09811. Engineer Osterholt is a valued member of the crew. His knowledge of the ship's maintenance borders on encyclopedic... He has the capability to work and think under pressure, which has saved the legacy on numerous occasions. Even as a valued member of the crew, I must log my concerns con regarding his alcohol abuse issues. When off-duty, Osterholt is often found in the mess area, in a mild state of inebriation. Though it hasn't jeopardized the crew or the ship, and no one has lodged a formal complaint, it remains a potential problem that should be monitored. Fucking A, mind your own damn business, Captain. Get out, get out of fucking Osterholt's ass. Ain't it? <laughs> it's fucking, you even go all your ways like, yeah, it hasn't been a problem so far. Come on. Maybe they have it under control. D. Mayfield. Ship's medic. Crewman Mayfield is an exemplary medic and an asset to the legacy. He's friendly, approachable, and discreet. Though he informs me if an injury or a symptom could affect the crew as a whole. He works well under pressure and does an excellent job monitoring the physical and mental health of the crew. I'd like to recommend that Crewman Mayfield be promoted to the Legacy's first mate to replace the vacancy left by Obadiah Mears, who was killed in last year's pirate attack. I will file the proper paperwork when I arrive at our home port. Yeah, so what the hell? Who, who was that other ship? And the Legacy was attacked before? What all are they hauling? L. Aguilar, I think, is how you pronounce that. I don't know. Crewman Aguilar is a remarkable member of the Legacy's crew. She is one of the toughest and bravest long haulers that I've had the pleasure of flying with. She has an uncanny knack for quickly handling any problem or situation that's placed in her path. The only issue I can see with Aguilar is her short temper. 
some of the more abrasive members of the crew can often get under her skin, which has triggered arguments and minor altercations. If she could conquer this issue, I would gladly recommend her for command training for the command training program once her initial tour is complete. Oh, and Kellner. Crewman Kellner is a valued member of the crew. He does his job as expected, follows orders properly, and is dependable under pressure. Though his specialty is the ship's defensive systems, I've seen him jump into other roles without complaint. Overall, he gets along with everyone, and I'm pleased to have him aboard. That being said, I'd like to formally report that I have engaged in a consensual relationship with Crewman Kellner. I realize this jeopardizes my position as captain of the Legacy, and I will face whatever disciplinary action that administration feels is necessary. Since this could have an effect on both of our careers, I'd like to request that Crewman Kellner be transferred when our current assignment is complete. Wow. B. Bakara, Crewman. Crewman Bakara is a problematic member of the crew. Though he performs his role as expected, as expected, he's combative, insolent, and often challenges my commands in front of the crew. Though I am aware we are not a military vessel, I still expect a certain amount of decorum from everyone under my command. Crewman Bakara is a detriment to the legacy and its crew. I'd like to request he be transferred to another location within the company after our current mission is complete. Simmons, C. Simmons, ship's crewman. Crewman Simmons is undergoing her one-year trainee evaluation. So far, she's shown ample aptitude for all of the assignments <clears throat> she's been given. Though her task load is light, she often finds herself second-guessing her own work, which, in turn, results in extended duty time. I've repeatedly reminded her that she needs to have more self-confidence regarding her duties, and I'm hoping... She'll take that advice to heart. I will transmit my final evaluation to the personnel division when we arrive at our home port. Okay. Mission brief. What well, was the mission? Galbank mission brief. GLB. Galbank, I guess. 098 Legacy. Captain X Liang. Classification transport. Cargo. Credits. Cred tank load. Approximate value. Classified. You are hereby ordered to proceed directly to your delivery location coordinates. You will be met by the receiver, Red Acted, who will provide Alpha Cipher clearance and confirmation. Once clearance is confirmed, data transfer may begin. Under no circumstances are you to deviate from your plotted course without authorization from your escort craft. So who ran them off course? I'm assuming they didn't plot a course by a known... Nightmare Planet, it was whoever was in that other ship that ran them off. Was it pirates? Because it sounded like pirates came at them afterward. Maybe they just did an emergency jump to get away from the pirates and ended up here? Oh, there's Mayfield. The spoils of victory. Hopefully they amount to something. Dude, I'm liking how spooky it sounds. You know what? I'm not going to do our little scan. If there is a spooky dude on here, let's let's get scared by him. Settler casual hat. Nothing else there. Calibrated shock troop. Damos pack. Some money. Thermos. Simmons. Empty beer bottle. Okay. The classic rocks. Somebody's got a cat coming out of their head screaming. Oh, it's Aguilar. They had the Ace of Hearts. Can we tell how they were playing? Wow, yeah, they had a trick up their sleeve. An ace of hearts. A king of hearts. Hmm. Wait, what the hell were they playing? I don't know. There's some on the floor, too. 
Okay. Aguilar's farewell. Crew recording initiated. It's day twenty since supplies dried up. And here I am, staring at an empty poker table. Our last game. After Simmons passed, we kept trying to get together at least once a day for a game. To keep our minds off of things. Kellner and Leong were the next ones to, uh, step away. They wanted to be together at the end. Then it was just Mayfield. We played for hours. Now I'm alone. I just wanted to uh, leave this recording for anyone that finds the legacy trapped above Bannock 4. That's all. For now. Going to deal myself a few hands and call it a day. I miss you, Trembly. And I'll be joining you soon. GB Legacy, signing off. Crew recording terminated. Man, this is pretty good. I'm liking the exposition here. Okay. Just found another one. Poker Crew game. recording initiated. Who else? Damn it, Mayfield. You must be cheating. There's no way anyone can be that lucky. Oh, yeah. I'm so lucky. Tell you what, I'll trade all that luck for a sandwich. Deal? Yeah, sure. It's been, what was it, three? No, oh, two weeks since the food supplies ran out. If we had sandwiches to trade, we'd be eating them ourselves. <laughs> Simmons, go get some rest. You sound awful. Yeah, I'm just gonna take a nap or something. I can't even read the card anyway. Sorry, everyone. Can't keep my eyes open. It's okay. Go on. I'll come check on you in a while. So, uh, another round? Agala? Kelna? Captain? You three go ahead. I'm just going to lean on Kelner here and watch. Oh, and let's cut the captain nonsense. Call me Liang. All right. Liang's out. I'm dealing the rest of you in. Crew recording terminated. How come nobody's eating one another? You know? Even if nobody else... You know, if nobody goes off the deep end, if I were in this situation, I'd be like, y'all, if I if I'm the first one to go and I like black out and pass out and die from starvation. You know what? Fire up the fucking burner. Y'all made it. <laughs> start start cooking, right? Start fucking cook me up, dude. Boil my bones, make a soup or some shit. I'm if I'm already dead, look, I I prefer if nobody kills me and tries to like murder me in my sleep to eat me but you know if i just if i just fall over dead from starvation you know go go for it just start chowing down <laughs> buy you all some extra time which it wouldn't have mattered anyway you know okay aftermath crew recording initiated there's a shitload of these to know i placed a commendation in your record aguilar really why would you Ah! Take it easy, Doc. I like to keep the arm, you know? Sorry. I'm sorry. This field dressing's the best you're gonna get away from a hospital. Captain's right, though. You saved our asses, big time. You're the reason that we're having this conversation right now. That was a hell of a shot you made during the battle. This isn't necessary, Captain. I was only doing my part to keep us alive. Oh my god, Aguilar, take the compliment already. They had us on the ropes, shields down, engines down, escorts destroyed, then you hop on the one lousy gun we have on this crate. I'm not some kind of hero. We were just lucky, okay? Listen, I know losing Trembly back there was hard, and that both of you were very close. 
But we have to move on. And survive. That's easy for you to say. You still have Kilner. Everyone knows the two of you are together. <sighs> I go or... You want to know the truth? Fine. Yes, we're together. But that's got nothing to do with what I'm talking about. I've lost four of my crew, and I'm trying to keep the rest of us alive and in good spirits while I figure a way out of this mess. So I'm sorry if I've offended you. Hope the arm feels better. Captain, come back. I... Not good, Aguilar. Not good at all. Damn it. Crew recording terminated. <laughs> yeah, that was completely out of pocket from Aguilar. <laughs> like, the captain was right. It, it was completely unrelated. Oh, look, we can loot the security camera. Amazing. Winner well. takes all these diff rays, is it not? How about this? Euphoric escape. Crew recording initiated. This is from them banging. All right, so how long has Bakara been locked in there? <sighs> I'm not sure. A week? Maybe more. All I know is that he took some food packs and his duffel into the head and locked himself inside. Everyone's been steering clear of him since he scared Simmons, so we didn't even realize he did this till today. Bakara! Can you hear me? You need to open this door and let us in! The hell with it. I'm going to use the override. I've already tried that. He's rewired the door or something. Maybe change a code. Not sure what he's done. Kilner, can we cut through the bulkhead? Or the door? I'm open to any suggestions. To be honest, I wouldn't go cutting anything in this ship right now. The structure is extremely unstable. Damn it. Well, we can't just leave him in there. Begging your pardon, but we can. It's pretty clear that Bakar checked out after our initial assessment, and he's been killing morale across the ship. Let him soak in there for a while. When he gets hungry, he'll come out. I suppose you're right. Crew recording terminated. Huh. I guess they never got open then. It had a... Yeah. Damn. Okay, they blew their brains out. Rather than starve, I guess. Drink condensation. Why? Need water. I want to know how they ran out of water, though. Right? Wouldn't a ship, a starship, be, like, rigged up to recycle all of their waste? You know? It should be, like, a wasteless environment. Because it, like... Yeah, all the condensation would collect on the interior. Or, I, I guess, in an imperfect world? How would it work on a spaceship? Would it... Would it... Would you get condensation on the outside of the ship? If it were, like, stationary? And it would freeze on the outside? You know how like a like if you have a glass of water or whatever and it's hot out, right? It it, uh, it sweats. Would the same thing happen in space? I guess it could. Well, no, because I'm assuming the ship is vacuum sealed, right? It would be kind of it would be less like a cup and or a bottle and more like a thermos, which doesn't produce condensation because it is vacuum sealed, huh? Yeah. I don't- I don't think water should be an issue. Should it? Especially if- yeah. Especially in the event where they referred to the ship as long haul. One of them was like a long haul crewman. At the very least, the starship should have been set up to support longer hauls and thus be able to like... I don't know collect the condensation or like purify their pee and poop or whatever you know <laughs> like for real empty food container a bunch of drugs refined rattler sure why all the pens though huh okay Bunch of math. Maybe their... Their water recycler or whatever? Um... Went out of commission because of the EM blasts. But then at the same time... Why wouldn't the same thing happen to their air? Right? If the EM blast was enough to knock out... 
everything except like electric, which I assume is just hardwired or whatever, right? Because there's no like programming necessary for it. It's just um, it's just more rudimentary wiring, and maybe a, a water purifier would need that. Why wouldn't also an air recycler go out, right? We should be having to wear our spacesuits here. Oh, and you know what else? And I'm surprised they didn't do this. Uh, because they absolutely have the means for it. The artificial gravity should also have been knocked out, huh? Because of the EM blasts? Yeah, whatever... I think it's the grav drive, right? That generates it? Yeah, if the grav drive is down, shouldn't also there be zero gravity aboard the ship? Hmm. Maybe we're not supposed to think about it too much. Okay. Anything else here? Reactive gauge. Another pick. I'm surprised there was no data log in here from this person. Was there? Did I just miss it? Let me turn on a scanner and do another once over. I don't think I missed it. There's just no log in here. I guess the writing was on the wall. Okay. And I, I do like all the tools and stuff they were using to try and break their way in. Pretty funny, though. None of them could muster... <laughs> they have digipix out here, right? Legitimately, they have digipix. And no one throughout their entire crew could uh, digipick into a novice lock. Good God. Nobody in the entire crew except for that one person in there took security. Or whatever the stat is. <laughs> Got some zero wire. Looks like uh, our objective is higher up in the cockpit. So I will actually go down. Okay. Where did all the garbage come from? Why is there so much garbage? How did this come to be? I get the robots being out of commission because of the EM blasts. But why is there so much, like, part of the ship is just trash the hell up? Right, because it's a vacuum-sealed environment. There shouldn't be really any erosion. Huh. Well, they did say that it was incredibly unstable for some reason, right? I don't know why that would be, but we have to accept that. That for whatever reason, why they didn't want to go cutting through everything. Because there was just, like, instability with the hull. For some reason. Okay. Over here. It's all this. Oh, these are the other docks. Docking port four. I wonder if Jasper Crixes is here. If if it's not, that implies that Jasper Crix left. Right? Yeah, occupied. Status occupied in port three. Restricted sealed. Port three sealed due to unsafe conditions. Yeah. Holy shit. Docking port three. Ship registry. ERS. What is ERS? Or ERSD, even. Huh. What was the name of their gang on Neon? Right before they became the Crimson Fleet. Wasn't it also like the Crimson something? The Crimson... Gang? <laughs> the Crimson Dirks? <laughs> I forgot what they were called. But I don't think it was anything that would be ERSD. Erebos. Regardless. Captain Jasper Crix. Transponder code unregistered. Ship status catastrophic damage slash inactive. Oh, well, I got some ship parts. I can't open it though, can I? No. Sealed due to unsafe conditions. Now that's some place I'd really like to look to. Okay. Sure. Well, did we check everywhere here? Uh, I think so. We need to go look at the elevator. Of 
great. Oh, there's uh, what we need. Okay, so this is where we came from. Okay, so now we're back on track. New stuff we haven't seen. Gotcha. No food. Why did they... Oh, I guess because they were going through all the containers. So after someone searched it, they would put in writing and tape to it that there was no food or water inside of it. After they... Yeah, empty. Gotcha. Take okay. what you must. Leave the rest for the scavengers. <laughs> Fucking... Entrasia, we are the scavengers. Galbank transfer module. Well, that seems useful. We still haven't found Crix's body. Dude, what if it's fucking Cryo, man? What if Jasper Crix is still here? Okay. False access approved. Please stand clear of the doors. Alright. Look at these. What the hell? Okay. Sure. Com relay. God, look at this. What a mess. Depository, three to four engineering. Oh, there is the cockpit right there. I'll take the magnet. Why not? Okay. Stealth refined equinox. Some ammo. Stun mines. Stun mines are kind of valuable. I have seen tanks like this traded by smugglers, but never one that is functional. This must be decades old. Okay. Oh, is that it? The cred tank? Sure. Oh yeah, here we go. Optional access the cred tank. What? It was this enormous thing just had 4.4 grand? Are you fucking shitting my ass off? How... <laughs> how do they... St how does fucking money work in this world? <laughs> I don't understand. How am I walking around with so much? Granted, this was years ago. But even so... Like, by current... By modern day standards, right? Our money... <laughs> you know, we can keep it on a, in a smaller way. Like, I feel even if you had $4,400 in cash, it would be less cumbersome than this giant thing. It's fucking obelisk. It's like the size of a Skyrim treasure chest. An end of dungeon chest. Vault control, crew quarters, depository. Alright. Here we go. Door to... whatever. Whoa, what the hell is all this? Advanced lawgiver? Oh, shit. Whoa. I think there's a turret there, too. Yeah. Good God, man. Huh. Let's get rid of our orange debuff. Burns. Thankfully, it's just melee damage. Okay, what's my orange cleaner? Heal paste. Okay. We're still in combat with something, but I think it's another turret because it's not moving. Okay. Anything else in this room? 
there is a log. The plan. Crew recording initiated. All right, I'm recording. So, run that by me again? Okay. So, the crack tanks we're hauling are equipped with EM insulating circuits. Hmm? Keeps the data from getting wiped, right? If we chain them all together and reroute that EM protection to the legacy's shields. Holy shit. With all 2400 of them hooked into an array, we should have enough juice to keep Bannock's EM field from lighting us up. What about all the micrometeorites and debris in Bannock's EM field? Will the shields still hold against them? They should. We fire the whole thing into the solar regenerators and we could run the system almost perpetually. Well, we'd still be trickling some gigaramps off of the reserves, but yeah, that all makes sense. I gotta tell you, this is genius. Well, don't get too excited. We still have two problems. One, it's going to take all of the ship's power to keep the array running. That means we've got almost nothing left over. And two, for the engines destroyed, we're still stuck orbiting Bannock 4. I'll set the computer to keep us in orbit, but that's all we got. Hey, it's a start. Gives us a chance to survive and time to think. Yeah, I guess you're right. I suppose we're lucky we were holding all of these cred tanks in the first place. If we were on our way back... <sighs> yeah, we would have been dead. I mean, it would have been a problem. Anyway, let's go talk to Captain Yan and get this show on the road. Crew recording terminated. Huh. That's interesting. So that's how they maintained the ship after all this time and slowed the degradation of it from the EM blasts? I guess? Is they use the shielding that was present inside of the the cred tanks? Okay. That's kind of clever. But like they said, their engines were already shot, so they were just like in orbit. But when Jasper Crick showed up, it was with a ship that still had, I assume, operable engines. Oh shit, look at this reactor control computer. Do I want to access this yet? Fuck it, let's do it. Okay. How about some of that? Good. Then right there. Well, I could do this. Or, alternatively, like that. Perfect. Oh. Control everything. Disarm the alarm. And I'll open the door. Okay. The door's in the turrets, I'll fight. That's free XP. Surprised this one didn't come flying out. Got another door here. Now this looks like the route we need to go, yeah. Okay, I'm- oh I shit. Believe we are not alone. They should have known better. Can I not get that? Yeah, there we go. It's the iron sights on this thing. Holy shit. Oh, there's a dude right there. Oh my gosh, another one. Things I would do with that. Do I have a better weapon for this? Oh, fucking. Good one. Jesus! Andresia! Okay. Okay. 
Okay, I'll take all this ammo. They could not hope to win, so they fled. They're more, or is it just turrets? Oh, there's a turret. Whew. Okay, let's check this room. Oh god, radiation leak from the reactor. Oh fuck. Okay. Huh. This turret. go. Security camera there, too. What was that, Andresia? Yeah, what the heck? What are you shooting at? The camera? <laughs> was that it, for real? Alright. Sure. We have to do a Star Trek, I guess, and go into the radiation. Let me see if there's anything good in here. I do not Some creds. Wish to judge, but I doubt you truly need to be carrying all of that. Computer here, reactor computer. Let's take a look. Okay. Oh, shit. Undo. Oh, it's just the... control again for all that. Okay. Anything else in here? Good gravy, dude. Oh, a master door? Okay. Auto slot, and we'll pop in the single one. I'll do another auto slot. And another one, why not? And one more, why not? Good. Very efficient way to spend those, I think. Well, we're not getting irradiated in here. Good. More explosives, ammunition. The ammo is definitely worth it. Anything else in this little room? No. Well, that was kind of shitty. Okay. Let's see, I'm suffering from all sorts of debilitations. Let's see, let us take chicken marsala and another tranquility. Good. Oh, and I better take a red. More heal paste, huh? Or was that my old one? How's my status? Oh, poor. Okay. Let's get some red aid. There we are, bandages. Probably our most used item, which, fair enough, a lot of physical, kinetic weapons. Okay. Honestly, the radiation leak in here is pretty minimal. Right, we're incurring very little damage from it. Oh god. <laughs> I popped my VATS key. Is there something else? Or is that it? Is this a security camera? I think so. No, there's something else. Oh, this one. Another camera. Is there really nothing else in here worthwhile? Synapse Alpha. Notepad. God, I really don't think so. I guess it's our, our suit's environmental protection kicking in. Right, because the entire planet is irradiated, so we are actually able to get protection regen at points. Okay. Cool. 
Anything else good here? Snake oil. A little storage. Guess we'll have a look. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. What a pain in the butt. There we are. Someone lost. Guess I'll take that. Let us see what it is. Okay. Anything else around here? There's this room. Looks fairly important. We may save it for next time, though. Let's just scan the rest of this room, though. Which I don't think there is much. Hydraulics computer. Maybe it'd be some kind of log on here. Okay. How should we get into this? Like that. Good. Get the double right there. And we could throw it down like so. Or should we? Wow. Yeah, we can actually do that. Whew, amazing. Yeah, it's just a robot turret and alarm control. Boo. I wonder what the hydraulics are for on a ship. Maybe the landing gear? They really need a huge area for it, if that's the case. Modified arc welder. Anything else? How about up top? Is there anything in here? Nah, I can't even fit up in that. Nothing to really look at either. Okay, cool. Well, like I said, we'll call it for now. And when next we return, we'll go into the final areas of the ship. The vault control center, I suppose. And... Shit, I guess we'll we'll carry on. We'll see what the fate was of Jasper Cricks. Maybe dude is... Who knows? Maybe there's Cryo on board the ship. Maybe dude is frozen. I don't know. Probably not. Probably we will find a dead body. Right? All right. Until next time, please take care of each other. <laughs>